Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Mondays. If you didn't see last week, there has been some changes where I left off. So I raged quit. Okay. Um, it wasn't actually a week between this episode and the last episode. It's probably been about two or three weeks. Not going to lie. Um, so I went and did a trip. I went and got another elytra. Not all of my things were there. Killed some more shulkers, got some crates. I found an ender chest um, while I was there. Although, I did forget you could actually make these. Uh, I did get some more armors. So, the two towers we actually found, I went back to. I didn't do both ships. I know I did do both ships. I did both ships because I got one elytra on the wall and I got one on me. So, them two ships are done. I put my lights up like I wanted. I, um, I'm not too sure I like them. Um, and I've also been doing some hunting so i have some wither schools as you can see in my inventory and today we are planning on spawning in the wither yes we're doing it my first ever time and we're going to capture it on um, youtube so i was thinking of making some sort of barrier out of this but it's not going to work by the looks of it because of these um flags i've put down so yeah I didn't feel the need to record in between this and the last episode because it was a lot of panicking, me getting to the end as quick as I could and doing as much as I could in a short amount of time. So yeah, I went there, I literally chucked my iron armour on, got a sword, I think it was, or even an iron axe out of the chest and just powered on through to get to the end as quick as I could. And that's where we are now. So, today's plan is now I have the sort of healing potions and the strength potions, is to head on down to the mines and spawn in the wither. So I've taken my elytra off, I've got all my gear. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have my XP level, so I had 64 XP from killing the Ender Dragon, but because I died, I don't have that, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but I'm hoping killing this wither will give us some more XP, but I was sort of hoping that 64... XP would help us prepare more for this fight. I'm not too sure how hard it is. Like I say, I've never ever done this before. Um, I just know that doing it down in this mine um, kind of helps. So the advice I sort of read into was getting some potions, which I've done, and doing it down in the mine so it's out of the way of any builds, um, and also doing it away from lava. Not too sure why. These are just some of the tips I was advised to follow. So... Um, I'm just sort of making sure there's not any lava around, like here. So I'm going to keep running from this point. At some point, I'm going to stop, dig out a little 3x3 three three room. And if you don't know how to get wither schools or don't know how to spawn in the wither, wither schools are actually in the nether. You can wither skeletons. I had my loot free, free sword, which helped massively. And to spawn in the wither, you need four soul sand and three schools. Um, to be honest... Getting these schools was quite time consuming um, and was quite difficult. The withers are quite hard. So I'm a little bit nervous for this fight. Like I say, it's my first ever time. And I'm, there's no time like the present. I'm just going to spawn right in now and um, just go for it. Never done it before. Quite nervous, to be honest. A little bit nervous. So, hence why I wanted to do it on camera today. Um, which I believe you get a, a never star, is it, or something like that? And you can make a beacon. Yeah, I've never built a beacon, okay? Um, I know how to spawn this guy in, but I've never done it. To be honest, it was getting the schools that I never liked. Here we go. Here we go. So he's going to power up um, and I believe explode. I know that much, but I have spawned him in in creative before. So there's the explosion. And then at this point, you can attack him with arrows. Um, he is going to continue firing at us. I don't know how much damage he does. So I'm just going to keep cover back here. Um, and just shoot at him as and when I can. So he does fire these sort of heads at you. So I'm just going to keep firing from here, firing from here. Oh, whoa, whoa. So I don't know if he actually gives you the wither effect or whether it's just an explosive head or what. So I'm just going to keep my distance and I believe at some point, it might be any minute now, I don't know if it's a timed thing or a health thing, he will, or she, I don't know what the wither is, it will then turn into Super Saiyan and I'm, I'm trying to concentrate, turn into Super Saiyan and arrows won't affect it. Um, ah, there we go, there we go. Right, Super Saiyan mode. Um, we want Strength Potion 2, 
and oh my god what was that whoa whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on here okay not a lot of damage but a lot of disruption maybe that's why they say don't do it oh my god he's got some sort of charge attack. okay maybe that's why they say don't do it near lava which is fair enough he has literally just destroyed this cave he has found me a new sort of cave system though that was easy I don't know if he's going to explode or he's going to respawn from that, but that was really easy with my Strength 2 potion. And I only used it for the second half. Ah, that's it. Okay. I'm a little bit disappointed. That wasn't as hard. I'm sort of struggling to find this star. I haven't got it on me. Um, I'm sort of hoping it's on the floor. Ah, there it is. Oh, I thought I didn't get it then. I thought I am not killing that many wither skeletons again. That'd be annoying. There we go. Never start, and we have this sort of cave to remember this boss battle by. Um, this is our sort of tunnel system, so I do want to sort of repair this and put a bridge across here at some point, or whether I do it now. But there's so much cobblestone in that, I didn't expect that charge move. I even like looking at tips and tricks, I didn't know he did that to be honest, so I was a little bit unprepared with regards to that. Um, that explains why not do it why not to do it next to lava. Um but yeah, I think like even my bow and my armor isn't like the best. So I'm a little bit shocked that I didn't take much damage and I could deal quite a lot of damage. I know my sword was quite good, but my bow sort of did do a lot of damage in the first half of this battle, so I was a little bit shocked. I'm just making this tunnel safe because mobs will spawn in this area now. Um, and I don't want to come strip mine one day and get blown up by a creeper. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Just um, sort of blocking it off so no one can uh, come in this location. Um, but I'm pleased. There we go. End of video. Thank you very much for watching. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I do want to build um, the beacon. And I do want to find a location for it. So I guess we can finish the rest of the video by doing that. But before we find that location, I'm just putting a bit of a doorway in here. So if we do ever want to come out to this location and explore these mine shafts or get some of that coal, then we can. But I'm pleased we've got this Never Star. And like I say, we just need to work our way back and find a location for this beacon now. Um, which I'm thinking, like, sort of a central position um, in our base. So sort of under the stairs. And I've talked about this tower for a while. And I want the beam that the the sort of beacon gives off um, to be in the middle of the tower. Mm. Right, we're back at the base with our Never Star. I have some uh, glass that was already in here. I've just smelt in some more ingots because I know we need a lot of ingots uh, for this bad boy to power it up. I think it's something like 200 plus. So what I wanted to work out, so what I was saying before I skipped ahead was I want to work out the center point of this tower, which we do need to finish yet. Um, so in the middle of this tower, I want the beacon to go all the way up and I want it to be a nice big red beacon because at some point I want some red glass on this. So this block here, which is 1580 by 377 on the position, 86 is my height, so I can ignore that. So 518 by 377 is my location. So if I come back down here, under these stairs, um, I forgot the numbers already. What was it? It was 518 by 377. 518, 377. So coming down here, is it about here? 518, 377. This block here is the center point of the tower. So in this location, I want to build like a little bit of an underground area, like a vault within a vault. So this is like the treasure room. I want to build a staircase down. I want to build it within like a glass sort of floor. Maybe we can make some of that toughened glass. I'm not too sure how we make it. Um, I think it may be part of the new Caves and Cliffs update. Something like that. Um, where you can sort of see in but you can't see out or something like that. That's the way it works. So I'm going to build a vault under here. Um, and like I say, you need a lot of iron, a lot of gold or diamonds or emeralds to build this. I think probably iron's the easiest thing to make it out of. Um, but we're going to build like a nice underground vault with a glass roof, nice staircase down and uh, yeah, put the beacon shining on through, which would be brilliant. Um, I don't want that glass there. I want it more sort of floor level like that. Again, there's going to be a lot of work to work around this. Again, 
we need to make sure the beacon's centralized. And then I think the first layer is three by three, and it goes five by five, seven by seven, and nine by nine is the last layer, which is a lot. So nine times nine is like 81 blocks. 81 blocks of like metal. So whether that's iron, diamond, gold, anything like that. 81 that's for the bottom layer then you go from seven times seven then five times five and then three times three so you go nine twenty five so on and so forth that is a lot so done a bit of progress for you dug this out made the sort of glass here and everything you see in cobble is what we need to change into iron gold or whatever i only have nine blocks right now which will do the top layer and you've got to remember, you've got to do the hidden blocks as well. So everything filling this pyramid has also got to be the blocks. So again, I've never done this before, so I'm not too sure how to do the beacon. But I think we just sort of do that and then it should work. I'm not sure. Um, and then do we just select one of these and it works? I'm a little bit confused. Again, I need to sort the staircase out on that. I don't know if that block's going to interrupt the beacon and stop it from working either. But we need to get like a proper staircase down here into this sort of vault area. I want to change all the walls. Um, so it's a little bit nicer down here. This is going to be like a vault. Like a vault within a vault. So when you go to these big doors, which is our base, this is what we're protecting. We're protecting this beacon. And I'm tempted, you know, to make part of our watchtower out of obsidian. So if we do get a tap attacked that will be a weak point although it's a watchtower it's up and out of the way we need to make sure that that tower is like not prone to explosions because that's what you'd take your base out with wouldn't you we've got two big vault doors on the back we've got the little side door which we may need to do something with but we've got like a weak spot on top so i'm a little bit confused this beat comes i'm trying to work out so we've got speed and haste in this tier and then obviously you get these other tiers once you finish your beacon but do we have to fully upgrade it to get any of these sort of things? Because it's showing the thing upon the right, which is a secondary power, but it's showing the beacon needs to be fully powered. Um, it's taking our gold and... It's allowing me to put gold or whatever in here and takes it, but there's no sort of beacon light, which I'm a little bit confused about. Unless it needs, like, full sort of direction to the sort of element, like the sky. I'm not sure why that does that. Um, yeah, very confused with that. I may have to go away and sort of have a look. I'm just going to go see that it, like, isn't shining out at the sky sort of level, which it's not. Okay. A little bit confused. I'm probably going to have to go away, guys, and sort of have a look into this. Maybe make that vault a little bit nicer before next time. Um, but I do want to say, please tune in next Monday, obviously, to see how we're getting on. Um, we may try and do a bit of adventure. I don't know what we're going to do next time. But please do tune in and hopefully I catch you on the next one. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just want to say thank you for watching. Please go check out some more videos. And don't forget to subscribe, support the channel. And stay tuned for more.